Whether you're trying to visually show a temperature difference or just how big a mountain is, number counters have a load of uses. And in this video, I'll show you how to make one in After Effects, so let's get into it. Alright, so I've got this very basic progress bar comp open. I'll actually leave a link to this below in case you want to download it to follow along. And all I want to do is have a percentage that matches the progress bar going from 0 to 100%. So first we need to add a number, so we'll grab the type tool, which will open this character pane over on the right where you can choose your font. Comic Sans or Brush Script or some other dodgy font. The font I'm using is Noto Serif, which isn't dodgy. And I'm going to leave all the other settings, font size, spacing and stuff as they are. Okay, so we'll click and add a number. This can be any number because we'll override this in a minute. But I'm just going to throw a 50 in here for now. And I want to align this to the right so that when we add the number, it expands out to the left and doesn't affect our percentage sign when we add that. If you wanted it expanding out to the right, then you'd align your text to the left. Likewise, if you wanted expanding out from the middle, then you'd center align the text. Okay, now onto the percentage sign. This needs to be on its own layer. If we mix it in with the number, then it'll completely disappear when we add the counter. So down in the layers panel, we'll make sure the number's selected and make a copy. Then we'll double click on this and change it to a percentage sign. Then we'll get the selection tool and move this over. I'm just going to quickly align these, then grab both by click dragging and highlighting the two layers, then dragging them to a sort of spot where I want them. Alright, that'll do. Actually, I'm going to lock the percentage layer just so we don't do anything to it accidentally. Alright, now to make the magic happen and control the number with a slider. So we'll come over to the effects and presets and we're going to search for slider control. And we'll grab it and drag it onto our number layer. That opens this panel up here where we can control it from. We can also control it from the layers panel too, which we'll do in a sec, but if I drag this around, you can see it's not actually doing anything at the moment. That's because we need to link the slider to the text. So we'll come down to the layers panel and we want to expand the number layer down. And we're going to be working on the source text, so we'll open up text. And we also want to open up the effect, and within this, the slider control. Again, this is the exact same as what we've got up here. I'm just working on it in the layers to keep everything together. Okay, so now we need to add an expression to the source text. So we'll hover over the keyframe icon for the source text. And then while I'm holding Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC, click on the icon. And that gives us this expression thing. So what we need to do now is link the source text expression to the slider control so that we can keyframe the number counter. That's where this curly little bad boy comes into it. The software button with probably the best name out there. The pick whip. Cool whip. So we grab the pick whip and drag it onto the slider under slider control. That changes our expression to say that the source text is now being controlled by the slider. So we'll click anywhere in the timeline to close this. Now when we drag the slider around you can see it changes the number to match the slider value. And this can go in plus or negative values or you can click and type a number in. So now these are connected we can start adding keyframes to make this do its county thing. So I'm going to grab the playhead and drag it to where I want the counter to start. I'd say about there. Then we'll add the first keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch icon under the slider control. That puts this little diamond on the timeline to show you where the keyframe is. Then we'll drag the playhead to where we want the counter to finish. Right about there should do. Then we need to either drag the slider up to the number that you want, or click and type a number, which is what I'm going to do. Alright, now if we bring the player back to the start and press play, you'll see that it's all over the place with points and half numbers and all kinds of stuff going on. So to fix this, we need to come back to the expression that we had earlier. Then before the expression, we'll put math with a capital M, dot, round, and then normal brackets. After Effects automatically puts a closing bracket in, but we don't want that there because it needs to be at the end of the original expression. So we'll remove that and place it back in at the end. Okay, now when we play it back, it should just give us the rounded number. By the way, if you're wondering what that number counts as for, well, that's to signify the end of this video.